And Chris, we get to the ballpark today, and big news right off the bat, the Reds have made a change in their coaching staff. Well, they have, Jim, in a year in which the Reds front office has asked everybody who follows the Reds, including obviously their fans, to be patient. They ran out of patience with the pitching coach, Jim, uh, Jim uh, Mark Riggins, and uh, Riggins has been relieved of his responsibility as pitching coach. They're going to move Mac Jenkins into that spot, and that's the first of probably some changes we're going to see between now and the end of the year. We were able to get comments from both the manager, Brian Price, and the general manager of the Reds, Walt Jockety. Extremely difficult decision and uh, one that uh, um, really has challenged, has been a challenging one um, because Mark has done really, uh, I think, a, a really a good good job. He's, he's busted his tail for the organization and he's been with us now for five years and uh, spent a lot of time with the young guys that are currently with us. And, you know, we know obviously the struggles of the pitching staff and I think uh, we all take ownership, myself included. It, it finally came to the point where we just felt that uh, looking at the numbers based on um, where the staff ranked overall and uh, so forth, we just felt it was time to, to trying to do something different. So Mac Jenkins, who's been out in the bullpen and been with the team for a number of years, takes over as a pitching coach, and Ted Power will come up from Louisville and become the new bullpen coach. Well, I'm glad to see Ted back in the major leagues. I think he deserves a shot at that. But you don't expect major changes immediately just because you change pitching coaches. You know, the fact is that most every pitching coach says the same thing. Every batting coach says the same thing. It's the guys that are on the mound that are doing the throwing and the pitching that are going to determine how smart Mac Jenkins is as a pitching coach.